suppose I could be doing that too. That would be a good idea. More than likely. The sweet sound of the spotters at Daytona. This is duel one, or race one, of the Blue Green Vacations duel at Daytona. Some of my assistants and I were discussing about a potential trip we're going to make in July to a Rolling Stones concert in Charlotte at the Bank of America Stadium. If you're going to get tickets for that, be sure to get your tickets through SeatGeek. Approved by the NASCAR Fan 97 YouTube channel. Eight laps to go. Joey Logano leads. Leading a Ford train of Almirola, Newman, and Keselowski behind them. Don't count Ricky Stenhouse out either. He's been making some aggressive moves, and so has Denny Hamlin. That's the three-wide move that he made earlier. Daniel Suarez in the 96, he crashed out earlier, so unfortunately... He will not make it into the Daytona 500. How long does it take to traverse 100 yards at 200 miles an hour? Football field a second. Yeah, there's the length of a football field right there. Back Fox actually had a Daytona 500 commercial during the Super Bowl. I haven't really seen it yet, but I imagine it's pretty interesting. Now everybody has pretty much gone single file as they head down the back stretch. Remember where you finish here in this dual race determines where you start in the Daytona 500. As Reed Sorensen's about to go a lap down in that 27. starting to form. I mean, those are three really strong race cars. You got Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Denny Hamlin, and Chase Elliott. I still think the numbers are with the outside. They need a couple more cars. I think they have faster... Inside has Stenhouse, Hamlin, and Chase. But they're going to need more cars there because is Chase Elliott really going to help Denny Hamlin up to the front? I don't think so. I know I wouldn't. Because Hamlin is dangerous at restrictive lights. Not because I have a certain strong feeling about him. Now five to go. <laughs> Sorry. As I've kept mentioning throughout the week, I've been battling through a lot of congestion and probably will be throughout the weekend, but I'm not going to stop production content. Ooh, things are starting to get close there between Hamlin and Stenhouse. Look at Stenhouse going to the inside. Is Logano going to try to get the block? No, Stenhouse won't have enough help, or at least not yet. Now he's going to try to side draft. But Almirola is right on Logano's back bumper, and he's going to push him right back to the front. Four to go. Joey Logano going to try to get a side draft. That is perfect. Nice work by Logano to prevent Stenhouse from clearing thanks to that side draft. Eric Almirola pushes him back out there. I wonder if Almirola tried to make a dive to the inside right there. <laughs> Jamie McMurray saying, I want to be in whatever lane Stenhouse is in as long as he doesn't create a big mess. That is the big one. Three laps to go. The battle rages on here on this Thursday night in Daytona Beach. They're now side-by-side, side, Stenhouse and Logano. 
Down the back stretch they go. Things starting to even out on the outside and the inside. Almirola really giving that bumper to Logano. Remember, you can lock bumpers here in the Cup Series. Some special rules for the trucks and Xfinity in the next couple of nights saying you can't lock bumpers. Everybody is pushing aggressively. Final two laps. Stenhouse and Logano are the top two, but how about any of those others? As Stenhouse clears Logano. Now it's up to him to try to block everybody else that runs up after him. Here comes Logano back on the outside. Eric Almirola is not going to let Logano lose this race, at least yet. But Stenhouse ain't going to give up either. Still door to door, heading for the white. Starter has the flag in hand. White flag. One to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Here in the first race of the Blue Green Duel. Almirola and Logano push themselves out to a big lead now. I wonder if they'll try to clear up. Almirola staying with Logano. I wonder if he'll try to use the draft. He'll get to the back bumper of Almirola. He'll try to make a charge for it here. Newman to the outside. Down to the tri-oval, heading towards the start-finish line. Joey Logano is going to lead the pack all the way down to the checkered flag. Logano wins duel one. The second consecutive dual race win for Joey Logano and his 22 team. Beating out Eric Almirola, Ricky Stenhouse, and the rest of the pack. And he will unofficially start in the third spot for the Daytona 500. Yeah, here's the replay of it. Almirola, I think he may have thought about going to the outside there, but Newman decided to get up there first. And once those two get side by side, that virtually clears the way for Joey Logano. As Austin Dillon was continuing to lose spots, he's just able to save that car as they are about to go four wide there. finds a good spot there in fourth. Ahead of Bubba Wallace. Watch out, guys. Yeah, Joey Logano ahead of all of that. Then Almirola, Newman, Kozlowski, Bubba Wallace with a good finish. Austin Dillon, Truex, Stenhouse, and you can see the rest of the pack right there. Chase Elliott finishing near the back of the pack. So he's going to start right near the middle, unfortunately. But Joey Logano, your dual one winner. At Daytona.